Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm Bishop Arnold right here at Grace United. I pray that God is blessing you in an awesome and an amazing way. I'm always excited about the Word of God. Uh, the Bible declares faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. On today, we're looking at 1 Timothy chapter number 4, looking at verse number 7. This is what it says, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Wow. I, I believe that Paul is telling Timothy, though you're young, be an example. And, and I, I hope and pray that uh, regardless of what season you're in in your life, whether you're young, whether you're middle-aged, whether you're seasoned, regardless of where you are, I believe that God is still calling each and every one of us that are part of the family of faith, that have been born again, that have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. God God wants us to be an example. God wants us to be, first of all, an example in our speech, in our language, in what we say. I believe that the things that come out of our mouth is really an evidence of what we have in our hearts. And so if our hearts are right, the right things should come out of our mouth. Those things that will edify, those things that will build up, those things that will uh, minister grace and strength to those who are around us. So we need to be an example in what we say in our speech, but then we also need to make an example in our conduct. Yes, in our conduct, not just in what we say, but what we do. I'll never forget uh, early on in my life and my ministry, uh, people would say, do as I say and not as I do. Well, that's an old thing that has been thrown out because we're in a day and time, uh, if we're going to have influence with people people, we have to earn that right. So we have to not only say stuff, we need to do what we say. So we need to be an example in our speech, we need to be an example in our conduct, but then he closes by saying we need to be an example in love, faith, and purity. Yeah, we need to love people as God loves. Yes, God tells us to love our neighbor as ourself, but not only in our love, but even in faith. In the midst of adversity, I believe that God wants the best of our faith to be demonstrated and exemplified, that we don't fall down, but we stand up and we hold up the bloodstained banner of Christ. So in our love, in our walk as far as our faith walk, but even in our purity. God wants us to live a holy and an upright life. Hallelujah. Let's pray. God, we thank you, Lord, for your word. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Continue, Lord, to allow what you've placed in us to be exemplified out of us each and every day of our lives. Bless us as we go through this day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God keep you. That's my prayer.